Welcome back, folks. It is a wonderful Sunday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. It is New Year's Eve, and guess what? As you're headed out and about, we are seeing warmer than average temperatures, about 5, even 10 degrees above those seasonal averages, and that's not just even going to be during these nighttime hours. Afternoon hours, as we look towards the work week, few degrees above what we're typically used to. Low to mid 40s will be seen through the entirety of the valleys, and also minimal cloud coverage. Less clouds are, is expected during the afternoon hours, and we're going to have that sunshine, and even during the evening hours, we can expect clear skies. Pleasant start to 2024, if you ask me. And as even that work week continues, there's a slight chance for maybe some moisture come Thursday, Friday, but I won't worry about that when it gets here. We're going to notice in the now that we've got this high pressure ridge that's continuing to amplify. And as that does, it's still going to bring us those warmer temperatures. But as we fast forward, a little bit of a cold front's going to move on in. So it's a slight decrease in temperatures as we look towards that Thursday and Friday days. However, it's not going to be the decrease that we think. It's going to maybe drop down. To just a couple of degrees, getting us closer to those seasonal averages. There is a little bit of some upper level moisture that's still left around from possible those showers that we were looking at, well, last night. But as those move on out of the region, we're expecting some pretty dry skies for the entire western slope. We're going to notice that moisture I was just chatting about has that northeasterly flow that's headed down up through those northern states and kind of dispersing into that Canada area. And I do want to remind you that if you have those holiday travel plans, be careful on those roads and be cautious. Colorado's chain law has been active. Uh, carry sufficient chains with you in your car if you do not have those sufficient tires that are mud or snow rated tires. And I also just want to chat about winter driving as a whole. These warmer temperatures are causing a little bit of that snow accumulation to start to melt, causing some wet roads, causing some icy roads. So make sure you're slowing down. You're easing off that gas pedal. You're not slamming on your brakes, packing patience, turning those headlights on, just being cautious of those drivers around you. Now our almanac will show us pushing about a full 10 degrees above those seasonal averages, 45 instead of that typical 36 and that low end of things still about a full 10 degrees above 25 instead of that typical 16 tonight. So quite pleasant. Take that jacket with you, of course, as you're headed out and about, but it's going to be at least a few degrees above those averages. Now, a week out, like I mentioned, we are dropping a couple of degrees come Wednesday, come Thursday as that cold front moves on, and, but not by much. And speaking of tonight, like I mentioned, a little bit on that cooler side of things, clear skies. Tomorrow, though, mid-40s and Montrose, basically the same, looking at, again, 24 tonight, but Monday, 42. Of course, with those partly cloudy skies as we kind of take a peek into those afternoon hours tomorrow. And speaking of those afternoon hours, as we take a look at Discovery Auto Group's seven-day, well, four-day, excuse me, extended forecast, we are looking at those mid-40s, a little bit of that drop in temperatures, like I mentioned, on Wednesday and Thursday. Those evening hours are even looking at those 20 degree temperatures. Now Montrose is about the same trend, but uh, 42 degrees tomorrow. Like I mentioned, Tuesday looking at 40 Wednesday, then dropping down into the 30s. But like I said earlier, quite the pleasant start to 2024.